right. Good blow up by that smallmouth. Nice smallmouth to start out the morning. Another one. Another smallmouth. Little guy, but I'll take it. Another little smallmouth. Two casts in a row. Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. We're out here on Long Lake, out here in Traverse City. Already started out with a couple little smallmouth to start out the morning. Got up at the butt crack of dawn and we got to about uh, noon to fish. So about six hours worth of fishing. Uh, the weather's supposed to be nice. So we'll see what we can do. Hit it hard for a little guy. Did me a favor. There's a better one. That's the one I was looking for. Nice aggressive small mouth. Good. That's what I was looking for. Not the biggest guy. A nice explosion. Good fight. What's this one? Large mouth. On the Ned Rig. This little pocket ledge to point is on fire with little guys. Got that one good small mouth, but catching tons of fish through here. Got a good small mouth on the Ned rig. Uh, I seen one chase my uh, square bill up and he didn't hit it, so I threw that Ned rig. <clears throat> he took it. Good small mouth. Well, was throwing top water and didn't have the camera on. Uh, and right where this drop off comes to this sandbar, I got a nice little small mouth. That's probably the biggest one of the day so far. Missed the blow up uh, and he put up a heck of a fight here. Uh, missed everything, but. At least I caught the fish. Nice, right on the paws. Small or large now. That's a largey. Oh, that's bigger than I thought it was. That's a good one. That's real good, actually. That's a fat one. Got this little fat guy right on this point, right where it goes shallow through the top water right there, and he crushed it. Nice little fat guy. Whopper plopper. 75. Ooh, a little jump. Fat rock bass on the retrieve on the Ned rig. And this one feels a little bigger. Oh, pike. A 
little skinny miniature pike nailed the ned rig so that's the four species today another grand slam check to make sure my camera was on just caught a hog on the ganturel junior one of my first uh, big swim bait fishes this thing's at least a three Absolute giant came up and sucked up that uh, bluegill Cantrell Jr. swim bait. Good fight. Whoa. He's definitely ready to go. Sucked him right up. This is about the last bit of shade left on the lake. The sun is up. I tried that pocket over there, didn't get nothing. And then uh, a couple casts in here, man. He tagged it. I don't usually throw big swim baits, uh, but I will from here on in. Biggest fish is usually in the shade. <laughs> All right, man. Whew. Just hitting these last bit, bits of uh, shade left. And then I'm going to go in and call it. Got about another half hour. Picked up another one on the frog. And this bit of shade. I actually called that one. Nothing big, but still catching them. <sighs> now that the sun's pretty much up and there's no shade left, we're going to go hit some docks or some swim pads for a little bit. And then I got to call it a day. But what a good day on the lake so far. Oh my god. Big 
cold snow now. Let's see if he'll take it again. That was a pike. Got him. Oh no, no. Well that about does it. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up and get off of the water. I had a very exciting action-packed day out here today. Caught tons of fish, bunch of different lures. Uh, my biggest one came on a swim bait though, the Jackal Gantrell Jr. It's my first time ever catching a uh, fish on a bigger hard swim bait. I've caught them on Kitex and things like that, but never one like this. And I am convinced that this thing produces big fish. I'll be throwing this a lot more when I'm looking to catch just big ones and not numbers. Towards the end of the video, or actually at the end of the day, um, I had a giant smallmouth. It was even bigger than the largemouth I caught on this thing. Uh, and the largemouth was three and a half pounds, so you're talking probably a four pound smallmouth at least. Uh, I could have been pushing five. Came right up to the boat. I thought the bait was in its mouth. I felt a tug, but I just it must have just had the tail and not the hook, and I pulled it pulled it right out of its mouth. Bummer uh, that the day had to end like that, uh, but it was such a good day that I don't even care. Can't wait to throw this thing again. Uh, I ended up putting it on my uh, deep diving crankbait setup because I don't really have a uh, big swim bait setup. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Click that like button if you did. Please smash that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything to support the channel. Good luck out there fishing. Keep those lines tight and we'll see you next time.